Today I'm going to make something for the Thanksgiving dinner with butternut squash. And here I have a butternut squash that is uh, just a little over one pound and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm putting this in a baking dish. I'm going to poke it with holes and I'm going to stick it in the microwave for roughly about 12 minutes in a high-powered uh, high microwave. When that's done, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to cut this into cubes. I'm going to add some uh, cinnamon and some other seasonings to it. And I'm going to make a nice little side dish for our Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, I took two medium Granny Smith apples because I'm going to use some in my stuffing and some with my butternut squash. And I'm going to core the inside of them. And this is dangerous the way I'm doing it, but it was working easier a second ago. And I did all the rest of those pieces and I just wanted to show you how easy it was. But you just want to get in there and lift that little sinuous piece right out of the center there. Just like that. Cut off that. You can use it with the skin on or without. I'm going to leave the skin on because to me there's more nutrients in the skin that I want in my meal. Okay, so I've been chopping some vegetables and doing some stuff. And I'm just jumping back and forth from meal to meal trying to do this in a quick and efficient way and basically what I have here is the butternut squash that I put in the microwave when I took it out I sliced it in half lengthwise and scooped out the seeds and then cut it into little cubes what I have here though in my blender is one can of Dole pineapple juice or it's a, excuse me it's a Del Monte 100% juice pineapple juice um, slices and what I do is I put it in the blender so that it mixes mixed it up pretty well. I'm taking half of I cut up two Granny Smith apples actually one and about a little less than three quarters because I ate a piece of it. I needed the fiber to help hold me over so I don't go picking through none of this as I'm cooking it. I'm gonna use some of this for the stuffing so I'm gonna take about a handful of this and I'm going to measure it out and I'm going to end up putting it into the butternut squash and then I'm going to pour in over the top of that the pineapple juice and some seasonings. I'll be right back and I'll show you that. Okay so I have my squash. There's one one and a half pounds of squash. To this I'm going to add 114 grams of Granny Smith apples which is equivalent to two slices of pineapple in the can, although I have made that four servings, and I'm going to pour this over the top, which is a whole can of sliced pineapples, and I blended them to make it a little bit more juicier. To this, I'm going to add some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some sweet and low, and I'll be back. Okay, so here we have our candied apple uh, squash. It's a substitute for candied sweet potatoes. And I'm going to add two campfire marshmallows, which are 90 calories a piece, which is going to add another 180 calories over the top. You can choose to use these as an option. Uh, and or not use them and cut out 180 calories from the final nutrition uh, fact outcome of this dish.